water nerds always welcome your feedback and we recently got a comment requesting a video on Corpus Christi Texas drinking water so here it is Two different herbicides were detected in Corpus Christi water, atrazine and metolachlor. Diethylhexyl phthalate, also known as DEHP, was also detected. The US Department of Health and Human Services states that it may be reasonably anticipated to be a human carcinogen. Next is a category of contaminants called disinfection byproducts or DBPs. DBPs are formed from chlorine-based disinfectants that are routinely added to the water supply to kill bacteria, react with organic matter. Concentrations of haloacetic acids range from 15.1 to 34.5 parts per billion, and concentrations of trihalomethanes range from 23 to 68.9 parts per billion. For a bit of perspective, the federal standard for haloacetic acid is 60 parts per billion and 80 parts per billion for trihalomethanes. Health and regulatory agencies have very little knowledge about the adverse health effects of DBPs and their toxicity. EPA has stated that they've been linked to an increased risk of bladder cancer as well as kidney, liver, and central nervous system problems. Next is chromium-6. Chromium-6 is a highly toxic metal that is currently unregulated by the EPA. Chromium-6 pollution is associated with metal processing, tannery facilities, chromate production, stainless steel welding, and pigment production. According to the 2017 Corpus Christi report, chromium-6 concentrations average 0.05 parts per billion and reach concentrations as high as 0.08 parts per billion. This is about four times higher than the proposed safe threshold for chromium-6. EPA has acknowledged that chromium-6 is a known human carcinogen through inhalation, but is still determining its cancer potential through ingestion of drinking water. Chromium-6 exposure is associated with lung, nasal, and sinus cancers. Next is lead. Lead enters tap water through old lead service pipes and lead containing plumbing. Of the sites tested for lead, the average was relatively low compared to the rest of the country. 10% of sites tested for lead in Corpus Christi had concentrations over 2.9 parts per billion. The American Academy of Pediatrics and the Center for Disease Control both recognize that there is no safe level of lead for children. If your home was built before 1986, it most likely contains lead pipes and lead plumbing. Lead exposure can cause developmental issues, lowered IQ, and damages to the kidneys and brain. Corpus Christi uses both chlorine and chloramines to disinfect its drinking water. Chloramines are primarily responsible for what customers report as the bad taste or pool smell of tap water. If you have any questions about this report or anything else water related, drop us a line at hello at hydrovive.com or visit hydrovive.com and use our live chat. Our water nerds are based in Washington DC and can answer any questions you have. Thanks for watching.